Okay, fine. Hello everyone and welcome back to Elchius Plays. I'm Elchius, this is Elchius Plays. This is my sky block world. We've seen it before. I don't need to introduce it this much every single time. I've rearranged this. One thing I did like is that you can um, waterlog scaffolding. Now, there's a small problem in that it doesn't quite reach the end. And I was hoping that the fact that things can go through scaffolding would be enough. But it's not quite enough. What you can do is maybe put some ice underneath these. Everything will then slide along it, get collected eventually. Um, I had to also remove the scaffolding from here. So you could do that. This water is not going that way anymore. So it just gets stuck in there. So I've done this. This gets most of the stuff that lands on it into this middle bit. And I just need to put the hoppers down. So that's my new way of doing it. And now we can make some snad to replace all this. Now snad is not heckin' cheap. But it's not heckin' expensive either. Most of it is la 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 larimar. But... The value of snad in terms of how much cactus we're going to end up with, I think will outweigh the, the price of making it in the first place. We've got some of this. I've, I've got it up here. Look, It's four pieces of sand, four refined carbon, and an extraordinary larimar for one piece of snad. It's kind of expensive, but it's not that, that expensive, right? Because one piece of snad is going to produce a, a heckin' lot of carbon. Uh, carbon? Cactus is what I'm saying to you here. So, one extraordinary Larry Mark and a bunch of this. And there's our first piece of snad. Now this, I've chosen to do it in this order rather than to do the pipes first because we need the cactus. <laughs> That's the trouble. We need cactus in order to... Oh, I'll put this too... too... Ah. ah! I'm a fool. Um, we need cactus in order to get into our next vault. So, <laughs> Hobson's choice really, isn't it? What are you going to do? Um, let's put this on here. Let's see. Look at that. Right? <laughs> it's ridiculous. So, I've spent a knowledge point and a whole bunch of resources to do that. So, um, let me just fix this. Because you do need to be able to grow one. Go. Get rid of that, get rid of that. So now, this is just going to keep going. Look at that. That's actually insane. Also, the landing over here, I didn't expect that. How much is getting through? Some. I think we need a way of turning this off, actually. I've made this entire cactus farm. And then one piece of snad has just given me... Okay, well, um, didn't expect it to be that good. I think that has solved our cactus problems from now until kingdom come. So let's, uh, let's put this vault together and we can run it. Of all the things that we've been given on a plate, netherrack is actually... Well, not among them, because... I only had two netherrack. Oh, hang on. Maybe I've got some compressed netherrack. Let's check for that. Oh, we do. So now it's asking for netherrack. I'm starting to think we might need to worry. Can we make it? Not really. Not without a mod, basically. Uh, we're just going to netherrack into two netherrack. So there's a duplication in Britannia. But otherwise, no. No way of getting netherrack without finding it. So I guess we'll just have to keep hunting. I'm taking water and not chocolate. Now, the reason we take chocolate is because when you do your MLG water bucket strats, the chocolate doesn't spread very fast, so you don't have to worry about cleaning it up unless you're really slow. The nice thing about water is you can put it down and turn lava into obsidian, and do you remember how we died a lot in the previous episode? I want to be able to get rid of lava quickly. Um, so that's going to be my focus. That's why I'm taking water rather than the chocolate. The chocolate's nice. It's nice to have some chocolate. Maybe we can have a drink of it. Where's it gone? I don't know. Um, but I think the water is just that much more practical for dangerous situations like that. I don't know about you, but I think it's time for a vault. <laughs> you know how much I like doing vaults because it's kind of a rare treat, actually, don't you think? After this, I have a bit of a plan. Which is, I think, since the snad is so ridiculously OP, we should automate it in a way... In a completely automated way, is what I'm trying to say. I've got a plan where we can put uh, like a, a comparator on a chest and have that activate or deactivate a sticky piston that will move, you know, the fence that we're using. We can use something like that. We can, it doesn't have to be a fence, by the way. It could just be any block. So we can use a sticky piston to push a block at the cactus. Because you notice the cactus still only grows to three tall on the snap. So we 
push a block at the cactus, it breaks it and collects a bunch of cactus until the chest is full, which pulls the block away again, stops it from growing anymore, stops it from collecting anymore, and then we nick some carrot, some carrot, we nick some cactus. Bob's your uncle. There's my chocolate. So what do we want? We want our knowledge point back, yeah? Because we spent it on snad. Very good investment, I have to say, in the skyblock world, but <laughs> laggy. Uh, we would like to be able to, you know, learn something else, e.g. pipes. And then when we get pipes, we can think about building a storage room sort of thing where everything can be piped to. Okay, three monoliths. We do have our bounty. Do you remember? We made one. We selected one because it was the only one available. <laughs> and it will give us a bunch of whatchamacallits. What is this stuff, by the way? Tough coral. This is a, some underwater sort of theme. This sounds really cool. Uh, we're going south to north. And it's bonus living vault. That's amazing, actually, because that's exactly what we were just asking for. Well, that will achieve exactly what we were just asking for. Oh, hello. I don't like you very much. Skeleton pirate. That's awesome. Just like a pirate theme. Is the whole thing a pirate theme? Maybe. Very tempted. Should we try the piercing? Might be suggest. Could be a good time to do it. Let's give it a go. We can always regret it at some point. So this is piercing. There's also scatter. I'm tempted by scatter, but we'll try piercing. See how it goes. Plus one set of living chests. <laughs> so as I've asked before, and I'm still not 100% sure I understand it. Um, uh, do we get more living chests in POIs? Do we get more living chests in the world? Or is it indeed both? There is still some knockback, actually. Notice it does do less damage, as mentioned in the thing. So, the less damage thing may be a minor issue. I'm not sure. This, we'll have to keep an eye on how well we do, basically. See how we feel about it. Several minutes in the first room. We should focus on winning thing. Are we feeling better? Do we feel confident in some sort of scary room that can hurt us or should we still maybe <laughs> let that one pass us by for now oh we can be breaking these gilded chests gilded chests so far uh, whoops what happened to looking for the uh, monoliths <laughs> wasn't that a goal here Glad I came this way. It's my favourite when they're just right there. Probably don't need to be in this room anymore. Yeah, let's move on actually. Find all the monoliths, then loot. That seems like a good good order. The shulker box is sort of What? But it's nothing but babies. Sugar box is coming to the end of its usefulness because I just don't use it, which is not useful. Yeah, I think it's generally considered to be useful when I get used. Ah, I'm gonna do the orca way. There is a bug, by the way, if you are um, not aware. In the previous episode, when I very quickly mined six Larimar, or I quickly mined three Larimar, or but they were double counted as part of the bug, which is still in this version, and it's fixed in version 10. What was that? Did I mine some slime or something? <laughs> what? what on earth was that noise? PSA, what we've been calling Beniotite is actually Benitoite. So don't get it mixed up. I have corrected myself, you should too. 
Have some respect for Benny. How about now? Still two? Okay. But chromatic steel is worth quite a lot to us, so I'm sticking with it. Whoa! Well, it's like Zelda baddies. You have to chop the bits off. Chop the... Oh, and then they get scared of you. Yeah, well... <laughs> not so big now, are you? You can't just, like, decide that you don't want to fight anymore because your armor's gone. See, I was saying that I'm not using it very much. But what I was meaning is that I would much rather have another pouch. <laughs> right? The value of the, the actual existence of the Stalker box is not in dispute. So the issue is in the effort in using it. But you have five. The problem with you is that you have spawned near Fizzle spawners, which is all of them. Come on then. This way. We should leave. Kind of feels like you should strategize leaving the first room's loot. So that when you get back to the first room, if you have time to loot it, then you can do so, but you know that there's something to do when you get back, so you can turn around earlier knowing that there's a bunch of loot to get. Rather than doing that one first, as I have been doing, which means that now, when I get back with a minute spare, or however long it takes me, uh, what am I going to do? Just stare at the walls. Could do. Let me know in the comments below if you would like a staring at the walls stream. Yeah. See, now I'm here with a minute to spare, and there's nothing to do. And I can't go through to another room, because this is too far away. I'll never get there in a minute. And this is a weird theme. It's kind of gross. Bit David Jones. I like it. I didn't think I was going to say I like it. Huh? Another level up. The 10,000 zips. And I actually got my crate in my inventory for once. Ah. Oh, well. Uh, we've got a shield. We've got another sword. We've got an axe as well. This seems stronger. What do you think? 42. 46.3. It's also got... It's just straight up got more attack damage. We've got a spare... Got empty suffix, we can augment it. Let's not throw it on the ground. Um, what's our other one? This is definitely stronger in terms of attack damage. Uh, eight and a half plus four is apparently different from nine plus three and a half. I... Well, this is faster attack speed, so it's a slightly faster DPS. I think is what it's telling us. Uh, slowness cloud, that's pretty good. Legendary, it's this star by the way, where it's flashing and says slowness three cloud. That's because you've rolled something that is better than the level of the shield itself could in theory be. So it's a legendary suffix on a scrappy shield. So it's just more levels above where you're at. Um, it's okay, but it doesn't have a spare anything. There's no spare suffix or prefix. Yeah. And then the axe. It's just way worse. <laughs> yeah. uh, so 34 axing, that could be good. 41 wooden affinity for the next time we need to make a new tool. 26 shoveling, 68 gilded. Now, I think we have enough gilded. Well, there's another one, 46, so that's less than 50. So I'm going to get rid of that. But in the next level of tools, we're going to have more than 100 space to play with. 90 in soulbound is just a joke. 15 and copiously sounds like an excellent sort of addition. Uh, sort of a, a bon mot sort of thing to top us off. And the nice thing is we've got a gilded chest scroll. So we can make a gilded chest. These are four big. These are five big. And two chests is six big. So it's not too bad, is it, actually? You may be thinking, are you going to put these in order? No. So I mentioned there were quests. I think I'll go through the quest book now. I won't put much, if any, footage of me doing it. But we'll come back at the end of it with a few things to our name. One of them is going to have to be do a vault and do a bounty. So I don't think it will count the fact that I've done a vault and done a bounty. So we'll have to do another one. Oh no. What am I going to do having to do a vault in Vault Hunters? I'm so sad. 
By the way, there's a key bind for the quest book. So if you don't have one and you've put it away and can't be bothered getting it, just have a look in here. There it is. The vault open quest screen. It's this button right here. Ta-da. I did get some relic booster packs and I got a Twitch relic from it. Nice. Well, that was super helpful. The quest book made me do a raw vault. And in doing so, apart from the fact it gave me a load more bronze, I actually found some bamboo. I don't think I had any bamboo yet. I don't think bamboo is susceptible to snad. I guess we can try it. <laughs> Let's put some bamboo on the snad. See what happens. But, um... Yeah, I would not be surprised if the quest books... If the... If the yeah, you can't even plant it. I would not be surprised if the vault altar started asking us for bamboo soon. I'm surprised it hasn't asked us of some already, actually. Because I'm pretty sure it's one of the things that it can ask for. So that was good. This is working. This one's worth paying attention to. Um, there's a new thing, which I'd forgotten about, actually, and I'm glad I did the quests to remind me. Um, you can create these health potions. There's a choice. You can either have the one that recharges when you kill things, or you can have the one that recharges over time. And we are... Heart of the Sea is our reward for that. I, apparently those are very difficult to get, so that's good. Um, which one shall we make? wonder if you can just make two. <laughs> One that recharges a potion in mid-vault by actively killing mobs. And another that passively recharges over time. As mentioned. So if we look at Vial here, you'll see that um, there's either the recharge every five minutes. One. Or recharges every five minutes. Or recharges every 150 mob kills. Right, there you go. So the Mushroom uh, and Chromatic Eye is quite cheap. Is mob kills and a Rose or a Poppy is every five minutes. Do we have mush? Yeah, we've got a mushroom. Shall I just make both? <laughs> Why not? Anyway, job done. What do we win? Part of the sea. I remember. Leads a bounty. So we have to complete a bounty. It hasn't actually told us to go into a vault. Well, it has. It's told us to go into a raw vault. But now we have to complete a bounty. We have a bounty. So we now we need to complete it. I forgot in all of that, it actually rewarded us with two skill points. I think, well, it rewarded us with one, and I had another one from completing vaults. We leveled up again, so we're getting uh, we're getting strong. We're getting old, to be honest. Um, yeah, I I think it's possibly worth... We could um, upgrade, for example, our strength. We could take half the speed. <laughs> we could upgrade our strength, then we'll be on plus three damage. Yeah. Hunter's fun. Um, Hunter helps you find stuff. Highlights wooden chests, and then you can um, pick gilded chests, living chests, ornate chests, coins, or the um, the display, the objectives, which is, for example, the monoliths. So I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's time to upgrade dash. I'm not interested in wooden chests, but we could, you know. Pick a specialization and then unspecialize later. And I'm keeping piercing for now. I want to see if it will sort of. I want to see if I feel better about it after using it a bit more than just once. Yeah, let's take Hunter. And then we can decide what we're after when we go into the vault. So if we want living chests, which we kind of do because we spent our knowledge point, um, we can specialize on the way in. Let's see what we want in terms of that. I think we can make. We can get it back. We've got more than enough. That's a really good uh, amount, actually. Just about enough, actually. Well, what? It's not enough. We've only got three. Ah! I, I counted. I thought, oh, 12. That's plenty. 16 is needed. But more Benny needed. But not much, right? We're very close to our getting our knowledge point back. And we wouldn't have been able to get any of that at all if we had to wait forever for the cactus to grow. So I feel okay about that. So have a look at these. It's a perfect Benitoite, which we have got, um, and an Enderpearl, well, and, and a thing, and these empty flasks, of which we have a few. 
but they're somewhat rare, living chests. And you basically craft it to remove the specialization. You craft it specific to the specialization that you want to remove. Torn, javelin, right? So with a, an arrow, a perfect benitoite, and a bit of stuff that we've got plenty of, I can unspec that javelin specialization. But did you notice that one of those was hunter? With the amethyst, you can unspec hunter. So as long as you've got enough of these flasks, you can go into the vault, unspec, pick what you want, or pick what you want on the way in, and then remove the specialization and pick something else later. So each vault you can do something different in hunter. We want to make a chest type place. We want to make a storage system. Probably want to break some of these down. And I kind of think it under here might be a nice place for a little cave type thing to grow the amethyst in and to store some of this ore. I think I've managed it. It took me a bit of going. I couldn't fully figure out everything from first principles. A lot of it was the redstone, because I'm not used to how much space vanilla redstone takes up. And I finally came up with this. I mean, I say came up with, it wasn't the most complicated of things. I was trying to get this redstone to, you know, wend its way up there. I decided it was easier just to use an on-off-on sort of situation with these redstone torches. Um, so we've got the repeater here pointing into this one, and then we've got sort of a, an inversion as we go up. And the reason it's this way around is that I want this to be retracted when this is on. And the reason for that is that this will be on when this is full. So that's what this comparator is doing. This comparator is outputting a, a redstone level relevant to how much stuff there is in the chest. You can see currently at the top it says power 2 as we put more stuff in the chest, which is why I've got all these in here. Um, this now says power 3. The reason for that is it's the amount of items that could be in the chest. It's not the amount of slots that have something in them. It's not the amount of, you know, stack. It's, well, it is the amount of stacks, but it's the amount of items that could have stacked. So if I took one of these and spread it out across a lot of them, it doesn't actually go any higher. It's the same number of items. So it figures out how many could be stacked in the chest and then outputs a signal based on how many there are. Oh, anyway, if you put things that, things that only stack once, then each of these is a full stack, and so now it goes up. <clears throat> okay. This is therefore representing when the chest is full. This is outputting 16. Uh, I think it outputs 16. It might, no, 15 is the maximum because it goes down to zero. So it's between zero and 15. 15, 14, 13, 12, blah, 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 blah. All the way over to here, this is on four. So when this is at 15, this will be on four. Four. What you have to do there is sort of adjust it. When this gets to zero, this will turn on. Right, so that'll be when this is at 11. So it's never actually going to fill up. The way to get it to fill up is to make this even longer so that when it's here, at when this is 15, this is at 1. Right. So if anything comes out of the chest, it goes below 15, this goes to zero, this starts. So if I turn this lever off, Oh, what's happening? It's not working. Oh, blah, blah. So I think what's happening here is that the snad has stopped trying to grow the cactus because the cactus was fully grown. It's going to wait for a natural growth tick for the cactus and then go, oh, that's my cue. And then it will start up. So there is a bit of a delay. I don't care. Look how much... Cact I've got all this cactus just whilst thinking about telling you about it. And there's more here. <laughs> right? So when this goes, we'll see it. There we go. So you have to wait. Cactus on its own grows quite slowly. <clears throat> but you can see that that's kicking off up there. And I can just leave this now. I'm going to. And hopefully we'll see when I've walked away and come back that that's stopped itself naturally at some point. 
over here I've also built a little uh, grotto sort of thing. I want another cap like that, keeping creepers away from here. Um, I've put a dripstone thing. Don't really need it, given how much dripstone we got from the raw vaults in the past. But, you know, at some point it might be... I, I just thought it would be nice actually to have one going. If you wanted a proper amount of dripstone, we'd have to make a much larger dripstone farm, and I believe using lava is a much better way of uh, causing dripstone to actually grow. And I put my amethysts in here, so each one of these I've got five of the six sides exposed, I think. And I'm pretty sure that can grow there. Yeah, because that can grow there, so that seems fine. You are making gas noises, and I don't like it. Um, large amethyst, but I'm not sure if large is when they're ready. <laughs> that's okay. I wasn't precious about it. When that's grown, we'll have a supply of amethyst. It's quite nice to have so many of them. And I did find uh, the ores. I knew that I had some ores, and I put them in this chest over here. In the raw vault, there was a... It looked like the chromatic iron room, but it had all these ores from different mods, which is really cool. So I've put them in here, and I've also got some um, vanilla ore as well here. You can see, like, lead ore, dimensional shard ore. That sort of thing is completely useless to me right now. However, if I unlock any of these mods, it'll be nice to have a bit of a head start. So I thought, why not? A bit confused by the dimensional shard ore, because it doesn't require any research. Shush. That's a shush. This is possibly not the most efficient thing I could have done, but I don't really need any of this, so I thought I'd just decorate a little bit. If I need some, it's like an emergency supply, you know? Break ores in case of emergency. So finally there's this, sugarcane, which can also grow on snap. Now, there's two problems. First of all, we don't have enough Larimar at the moment, I think, to make snap. Make another piece of snap. Ah, certainly we do. Never mind. Scratch that. I, I don't know how to automate it. It doesn't have the same issue as cactus does about growing next to something. So you can see this oak log should be preventing that from growing if that were the case, but it's not the case. So in order to um, break sugarcane, what you need to do is you need to watch for it growing and then trigger a piston when it does so. The problem with that is if it's going that fast, it's still going by the way, um, that piston's going to be going hell for leather. And I'm not sure I want to do it that way. So it may be a case of just doing it manually for now. If I break this, it doesn't grow fast. So it only grows fast when you plant it. Now, I wonder if... Yeah. So it's possible that by putting this and then this... You'd have to automate that process. Because that there... That was my theory from before. That was waiting for the cactus to do a natural tick growth, and then that made the snad go, oh, that's me, I'm in charge. So by um, updating a block next to the snad, the snad goes, oh, I'm supposed to be doing something, and checks for anything above it to be grown, and thus grows it. That means that if we were to harvest this automatically, say with a piston, it wouldn't grow again. We'd have to update the snad, Sort of next, to the, the, we'd have to have another piston here, basically, also being updated, or, or or something, anything that would basically show up here and disappear. So, I think the best way of doing that is another piston, but I'm, there's probably other ways. But here, yeah, it may be worth not having the snat unless I really need to do it manually, um, and just having an automated sugarcane farm, the old-fashioned way, which we can do. It just involves having a line of pistons, and then when they grow, chunk, chop them all off. Uh, and it works for bamboo as well, by the way, so we could do both of those. I can afford more pickup upgrades. We've gone from being poor on chromatic steel to having a reasonable amount. I wouldn't say we're rich, but I can afford more. And I think I'd like to make more, because I've got one pouch, two pouch in the thing. Let's make a third pouch. Maybe a fourth. Let's see how ostentatious we can get. That's a lot of pouches. <laughs> Four. We can colour them, we can name them. I should probably start doing so. And this will help. 
because what I want to do is I want to have one where all the stuff that I never want to see again goes. <laughs> you know how we always picking up torches and sticks and scaffolding? That sort of thing. Um, and I'm going to fill that whilst we're in the vault with, with, the, with the memory settings. And then one of them, I think, is going to be for all the stuff that comes out of living chests. One of them is going to be the sort of stuff that comes out of ornate chests. Apparently this is the ores, so I'm going to have one for ores. Um, and our backpack. You see how our backpacks are sort of assorted things? I can I can make this better, basically. So let's do that. Oh, two pickup upgrades. Remember when we couldn't have any? <laughs> I don't think I need stack upgrades on these. Well, maybe one of them. We'll see. Um, so now I'm gonna I'm basically gonna spend some time sorting out what goes in them. It stopped. Look, because this is so full. And notice it's, it's still gaining cactus because the hopper is <laughs> really the hopper seems to be the problem here. Actually, I hadn't considered that. Um, there's so much stuff in the hopper, it can barely keep up. Speed at which that was making cactus is much faster than the speed at which this can put cactus into it. <laughs> hmm. I hadn't thought of that. So you'll notice with a pouch, you can dye some of it, or all of it, depending on where the dye is in relation to the pouch when you craft it. On the right-hand side, I'm presuming to the bottom? Nope. On the right-hand side, it's the clasp in between. On the left-hand side, it's the main body. Below it, it's all of it, and I think above it, it's also all of it, yeah. So I'm putting the green one on my back, because the green one's going to have kiwi and lemon in it. And these are the things that give you more time in the vault if you're panicking. So that can be easily accessed. I think that'll do. Uh, for now, there are more things that are going in all of these, but I can't remember what they are until we've been in a vault. And we have been forced to make a vault crystal against our will. So, why don't we go in? I have no idea why I would lose damage by pressing this button. Oh, I wouldn't. Look. I'll lose damage regardless of what I do. <laughs> okay. Alright, three monoliths. We we would like some more of everything that we can win in a vault, really. And, and excuse me, one of, the, one of the things we're here for is to learn what we can put in our... Oh, there's one there. What we can put in our backpacks to clean up our inventory a bit better. Nice. Well, I might as well move on then. Remember the strats? Even better now that we've found the... Oh, that's the second one! Um, the first monolith right there means we don't have to explore any of the room, and therefore there's definitely looting to be done when we get back. First room to explore? Yeah. This was faster before. Why is it slow now? Oh, that was weird. I wonder why some of them are slower. Can it, does anybody know? Let's try these out then. I can use that one. Maybe I can only use one of them? Maybe it knows that I'm cheating by having two. <laughs> well, this is possibly the point at which we can think about putting a point or, or, or specialising this into a living chests. Well, I can't see any. <laughs> it does work, I promise. I have to say, I think we'd be better off without the... Uh, Without the piercing on our javelin, because it's just not doing enough damage to the ones it does hit. Oh, a paint room. I believe this is an Omega room, and we could try like one. Does it have no baddies when it's this style? It's also not got much good in it. Netherrack, though, actually, that's, that's pretty good. 
Plus I have my silky box. Ah, a flower. I was just thinking, I haven't seen one this whole time. I don't have Benny in the bag. What? Let's leave. Uh, it wasn't so great, but we did get our reward crate at least. A living chest scroll, which is nice. What, 51 size axing. This is changing in the next upgrade, which I haven't uh, installed yet. Be very careful doing this. And with that stack of Benny all there, we can actually get our knowledge point back. And we won. Mystery box. Diamonds. That could be okay. That could be okay. Because one of the changes that's coming up is you can try shrinking this, basically. And there's a chance of breaking it, but there's a chance of making it smaller. 7% mm. healing efficiency is pretty good. One more. Increased damage and an empty prefix. Let's put that on. Oh! That's good. But when these break, and they're currently on 3%. So actually, we should do that now. Ah, so the durability probably determines whether you get something or not. I haven't considered that. 7, Benny or Fortune 3, plus 1. 6 Benny gems. Thanks, game. Got our point back. What do we want to do with it? It was pointed out that these um, go up by 12 when you take snad. Eh. It's basically time to learn pipes, although we could save up for double pouches. The reason I'm not going to do it just yet is I haven't really made my chest monster my area to pipe to. So let's do that later and see if we change our minds before we actually come to use it. Right, so I've just updated to version 10, which gives us a couple of new blocks to play with. Let's have a look at those. We like it when an update gives us even more things. And then at the start of the next episode, I think we'll look at building somewhere for our actual vault stuff to go, because it's a little bit of a mess. It's all been crammed in here since basically the first episode. As soon as I was able to build, I did. Um, so we'll look at that. Uh, let's see what these new blocks are. So the dual cutting station allows you to sort of shrink down jewels that are too big but otherwise have nice benefits like 4.8 mining speed could be really nice which is why I kept it because I knew that I was going to update rather than just melting it straight away and then the jewel applicator is just like a something more complicated anvil which lets you see what the jewels are going to do when you put them on your tool before you press go and connect to it so let's have a look at those in turn let's build them let's see what they do there we are one jewel applicator one jewel cutting station can you move it? Thank you. I broke it. There you go. I didn't broke it. So it's lost a little bit of size. Uh, great. Yeah, especially when you're going to charge you charge me 16 bronze and then just break anyway. And then another minus speed, 76. Zero, okay. You can improve your chances of that. There is a talent now. Remember, this is the expertise ones that you get every five levels, which we're due fairly soon actually which is going to be good jeweler increases the likeliness of succeeding to cut a jewel i believe it's currently at 50 percent so as you uh, gain some of these you'll go up as high as 74 percent so you've got oh, basically one in four chance of losing it after 15 levels and all your expertise investments so mm, it's up to you whether you think that's worth it i will not influence you in either way and then the jewel applicator well if you have any jewels left it would be easy to show you but you put the tool in here which goes on the thing I, these models are great by the way and you bung the jewels in and it just tells you over here what it'll do if you press apply but i haven't got any and i'm not going to but that'll do it for today thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this episode I hope you join me in the next time i've been archist this has been sky block and in the next episode i think i will work on putting all that stuff somewhere sensible and maybe making that thing look a little less horrible but until then Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you.